This is the review of Power Book 4 season finale, episode 10. It's Mac the Guru. If this your first time here, make sure you click that sub button. Now, man, everybody was snakes this episode. And we knew it the whole season, but it all played out this episode. For it to be called family business, the families was acting snakish. I mean, everybody grimy. Diamond, Janard, Walter, Claudia, Vic. Oh, man. Tommy, Kate. Kate popped up. I'm like, oh, snap. Tommy thought she was a junkie going in the house. She's such a horrible mom, too, and Tommy know it. But JP, he's so happy. He's like, oh, I got my mama. Tommy like, yo, dude, she's horrible. <laughs> and she come looking for money. That's what really killed me. Looking in the walls. Like, yo. That's why Tommy thought she was a junkie. He's like, yo, who is in the walls? Like... She on some real junky stuff going in the walls, dog. But she come. And from the looks of things, look like she might stay in the shy for a minute. Now, I don't know why they did that scene where we went to New York. <laughs> they go to New York and let us know, you know, people done been promoted and uh, the cops is worried about it, you know. But I'm like, yeah, why they... They do that like that was like super significant. And I get it. Yeah. Some cops might come from there and come to Chicago and figure out it's Tommy or work with the people in Chicago. But it's like, okay. You know, but the way they did it, it almost was like, you know how you watch a Marvel movie and then at the end they had a post scene credits and it's like some significant. That's how they they shot they shot the, the ending of this when they go to New York. But the episode was real good all together, man. It start off with, of course, everybody suiting up for war. And then as it goes on, it's like people just start switching sides more and more. You know, first you get uh, Tommy with the Serbs. Then Jannard go to the Serbs and, you know, try to work it out with Vic. And he like, what is, what is really going on? Everybody switching sides. I did like how Diamond was smart enough. Because he's sitting with Adriana. And he thinking, he thinking. And you see, she she just, she don't know. She don't know no better. She just there. He like, yo, we got to go. As soon as he got that call from Jannard. And Jannard called him because he was trying to make sure, I right, this where he going to be at. That's where he kind of messed up at, though. Jannard should have just went. Like, yo, check the shop. Check the, the... But he called him to make sure he was there. Soon as he get that call, Diamond asked, soon as he hang up, he like, yo, we got to go. He leaves. Blacks come in. And they come in, Black and a couple other dudes, they come in with some heavy artillery. I mean... They was going to clean up shop if anybody was in there with what they came in with. But Diamond was smart enough to get out the way. He gets the dude black. And I really like this scene because it's like, oh, yeah, Diamond finally on some savage stuff. <laughs> he finally then went back to his old ways. And you see Black even said it. He like, man, you ain't no killer like you used to be. And then uh, Diamond... Hit him in the head. Knocked him off. I thought he was going to beat him with the bat. That would have been more gruesome. I kind of wanted to see that. I wanted to see him turn around with the bat and just beat his head in. You know, but but they uh they did it a little different. They He he just turned around and knocked him off. <laughs> and before he knock him off, he get him to say that it's Jannard. Which I'm sure he knew it was Jannard. But... But he just wanted to hear it. You know how you just want to hear it when you know somebody that messed up or you know somebody that did something? But you just want to hear it just to, just to make sure. And then as soon as he heard it, he like, all right, I can get rid of this dude. Knock him off. Now, when he dropped black body on Jannard, and Jannard living good, ain't he? I said, dang. I ain't know they was getting it. I mean, I knew they was getting it, but I didn't expect for Jannard to be living like how he was living. I mean, he living... 
they living good. You know what I'm saying? But Black and I laid out on the table, and that's when he starts sweating and panicking. And when he went to everybody, remember, Janar started panicking, right? He goes to the Serbs. He goes to uh, Walter. He's panicking. It reminded me of Tommy when he used to go places without ghosts way back in power. And people would be like, yo, where are ghosts at? Like, where are the big boss? I want to talk to the big boss. That's how they was doing Jannard. Like, yo, what Diamond think about this? Where Diamond at? And then Walter put two and two together like, you snake Diamond. And the thing that people got to understand, it's like a chick that cheat on you while she in a relationship and then expect you to be with her. You like, I really can't trust you, sweetheart. I'm sorry. That's how Walter and everybody looking at Janard. Dude, you snaking your brother. How can we trust you on anything? And we hear Vic say, yo, he always got a scheme. And he do. It's like, yo, dog, we just can't trust you. And I really hated the ending scene, bruh, with Diamond and Janard. Diamond, why? You got this little measle down. Just knock him off. He's talking about, I'm going to give you one more shot. That might end up coming back in and hurting Diamond. Like, really. Trying to get him one more shot. Nah, dog, dog, you got to get him out of there. He can't be trusted. Diamond lets him live, and they going to split up CBI. And, oh, another thing. It really showed at that ending scene when the people that was with Jannard figured out he snaked Diamond. Because remember, it was some dudes that was there that was like, yo, bro, we ain't, what you mean you tried to hit Diamond? You know what I'm saying? Like, if any of them dudes in CBI got a, a inkling of a brain, any of them, I mean, any of them, just an inkling from the littlest dude to the biggest guy, whether they real junior in CBI or they the third, fourth guy in charge. You need to be rolling with Diamond. That's just the the smart thing to do. To be, nah, I'm going to go with this dude. Because Jannard, so right. Jannard mess around be like, hey, he'll just put you in harm's way. <laughs> Jannard will just put you in harm's way. He don't care. So hopefully the smartest guys just roll with Diamond. But enough for the CBI, man. But <sighs> I hate that Jannard let him live. Let's go on to, of course, Liliana. I was saying it in my preview. I hope Liliana don't get knocked off. And she made a crucial mistake, and it cost her 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 life. Crucial mistake. And the mistake was letting the doc go. I was saying the doc is expendable. The doc might get knocked off. And it should have been the doc. But Liliana let her go. And it came back to get her because then Claudia get the doc. Claudia get the information. And then they end up getting JB. They get him, Liliana. I mean, she came through holding it down. She didn't see Claudia and Claudia knocks her off. Now, Tommy don't know it was Claudia, right? Because remember, he over the bike like, who, who hit you? And then Claudia... Uh, come on, yo, can we do some business? No, we can't do no business. All this stuff is because of you not stepping up and saying, yo, dad, I don't think it was, well, she was saying she don't think it was Tommy, but they, she could have held it down a little stronger than that because it really wasn't Tommy. They dad and created this big old war and it, it, it really wasn't Tommy. You know, they should have just been at it with the Serbs. And it took them so long to put two and two together. They actually needed Jannard, coincidentally, to figure it out and put two and two together. Like, come on, man. Like, somebody use a brain, you know. But Claudia then burnt her bridge with Tommy for her daddy. And Vic was just an emotional wreck the whole episode. I mean, he just, 
he just want to get whoever got Gloria. You know, he just was like emotional. He going places he don't supposed to go. Nobody even want him to go. You know, they they all like, no, nah, you can't go with, with the four horsemen when they was alive. You know, all them got knocked off. They, they wasn't nothing. They came in from Dublin and just got got wiped out but nobody wanted him to go to the lab when they hit the lab up and claudia claudia is a rookie y'all like you didn't think tommy uh, you think tommy just boo boo the fool he just you did he just i right, gotta go to the lab meet claudia no he there just waiting they just walk right into the ambush they handled it well because they did knock off a lot of the the uh surf but vic wasn't even supposed to beat her how did you get here nobody's supposed to be here Vic wasn't even supposed to beat her but he's so emotional he like it gotta be my body well guess what Tommy ain't had nothing to do with it who you gonna go after now you ain't gonna knock off your daddy cause you had the opportunity you let him go you know and a lot of people were saying yo it was Paulie Paulie had Polly ain't even had nothing to do with nothing. Polly was just, you know, trying to do right. Now, I do think people were on to something when they talking about Polly and Paul. Uh, Polly going to eventually snake Walter because he got to because as loyal as Polly is, Walter is just on some other stuff. So he almost going to force Polly hand to, to snake in him. And I think that's going to come, but that's going to come maybe – late season two or even season three you know that's that's down the road that's one of them ones we gonna say no paulie then switched up after all this time and he gonna finally switch up late you know because walter is just a, a, a loose cannon and he's losing it even you know the four horsemen when they got there they looking at him thinking he weak you know so walter was bugging but now, going forward, we touched on the uh, Flynn family, uh, you know, Jannard, Diamond, Tommy, uh, going through this whole episode, his mom coming, all that. Going forward, I want to see Tommy and Diamond really go into a straight partnership. They was there for each other the whole season, including this last episode. I want to see them be like, we partners 50 50 let's split it because they stronger together that's what you keep saying these two are stronger together they need to stick together you know so i want to see that happen for sure i also you know we got to see claudia and tommy you know get together i know the, the the relationship is very fragile right now i get that i understand but Eventually, it's going to come together. And Claudia got to feel pretty pretty horrible because she went at Tommy for no reason. They had a good thing. Tommy was actually trusting her and stuff. Like, Tommy was keeping it 100 with her, you know. But that's what we always knew about Tommy. Tommy is a straight shooter. He, he keep it 100 with everybody. When he say he going to knock you off, he going to be trying to knock y'all. You know, if he say we ain't got no problem, y'all ain't got no problem. You know, so uh, Claudia, she, she done messed up, but I think they relationship will get back good. We did hear Tommy say he not messing with uh, the Dahlia no more, so they going to have to find something else or go into something else. I wonder what it's going to be, you know. Looking forward to that. Uh, hate that Liliana gone. Who can Tommy really trust now? Diamond? Yeah. That's the only person. It's really all the... I mean, he could trust JP and D-Mac for sure, for sure. He could trust them, like, for sure, for, for like, 100%. They right with him. But them two need to be far away from the game. JP, Bradley in the game, he... Getting caught, beat up, not a, he need to stay away from the game. D Mac, smart money man, that's what he need to do. Handle the business side of it, you know. 
Both of them need to stay away from the game, though. Hopefully, you know. But tell me what y'all thought about this last episode, season finale. Did you think it lived up to the hype? Was it as good? Did you notice some plot holes? Because I did. I just, you know, didn't talk about it. But I noticed some plot holes. I said, huh? But um, let me know what y'all thought about it. I thought the season was good overall. You know, I will be doing a video where I'm going to talk about certain things. Um, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you which power I like the most. Of course, since the original, the, the OG version of power, you know, that's next level. But since that, I'm going to tell you which one I like the most. That video really already made, to be honest. You know, I just got to chop it up and put it out. But uh, other than that, man, y'all let me know what y'all thought. It's Mac the Guru. If you're still here, make sure you sub. If you're not subbed. And as always, y'all be easy, be safe, peace.